Hey, welcome back, you beautiful people, to another episode on the Muggsy Show. And we got some huge movie updates for you guys for today. We got Superman Legacy Castings. We got Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, Projections, and Ron Tomato Score. And we got to talk about some spoilers that are going around for The Flash. But don't worry, I won't ruin it for you. And remember, if you guys want to help the channel grow, drop a like. And if you're new right here, subscribe and have that bell on. Let's get right into it. The first movie update for today is Transformers Rise of the Beast, Rotten Tomato Scores, and Projections. Now, as of right now, the projections for the worldwide box office is looking at a decent $155 million. Now, the film is connected to the Bumblebee solo movie that came out a few years ago, and it's actually received a pretty good score at a 91% at Rotten Tomatoes. Now, Rise of the Beast has gotten some mixed reviews for the film and was actually starting strong at a 75% for Rotten Tomatoes. But as of right now, it has slipped down fast to a 55%. And even with this score, it still be one of the highest rated movies for the franchise, sitting right behind Michael Bay's original Transformers flick. Now, after reading what the critics have been saying and seeing that Rotten Tomato score, I'm not surprised. There might be some people who are fatigued with the, tr the Transformers franchise. For me, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a fan of the films. Now, of course, the last couple of them were eh, kind of weren't the greatest. They were kind of rated pretty low, too, for the Rotten Tomato score. The first two I enjoyed the most, and I'm looking forward to it. And to see the Beast Wars pretty much on, on the big screen, I'm excited to watch it. But uh, let me know in the comment section how you feel about the Transformers reviews and the Rotten Tomato score. The next movie update for today is Superman Legacy with the casting for Superman and Lois Lane. According to Deadline, James Gunn has gone through the first round of audition tapes and now have narrowed it down to three actors. For Clark Kent, insiders close to the process say the first in-person test with DC co-heads Peter Safran and James Gunn will take place around Father's Day weekend or Monday or Tuesday after with Nicholas Holt, David Cornsweet, and Tom Brittany expected to test for Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. And this is not the only casting that will be happening that weekend. You will have Emma Mackey, Rachel Brosnan, and Phoebe Divineer that will be testing for Lois Lane. And to be honest, I really don't know much about the actresses who are going for Lois Lane, but I'm pretty sure James Gunn will pick the perfect one that we need for Superman Legacy. Now, when it comes to the guys who are going for Clark Kent, I have seen Nicholas Hoyt in a lot of movies. I actually enjoy him. He's a really good actor. Now, with the other two, I don't know much about. But David Cornsweet, he just has that look. And I'm really hoping they pick him because he really does look like a younger version of Henry Cavill. And you put him into that, wor that Superman workout and get a little bit of size on him, I think he could pull it off and, and be a great Superman. But guys, let me know in the comment section on how you feel about this and who would you pick for your Lois Lane and for your Superman. Now, the last topic is the Flash post credit scene. And don't worry. There's no spoilers here, just a warning. Now, there's been plenty of early screenings for The Flash, and WB wants the fans to increase the hype of the film. But I've seen multiple social media platforms spoiling the post credit scene. So I just wanted to let you guys know, if you don't want your movie experience to be ruined, stay away from TikTok, Instagram, or just don't look up those certain subjects because you already know how the algorithm works when you look up certain things. You're just going to keep throwing it on your screen and sooner or later, one of the spoilers are going to ruin it for you. And, you know, and there goes your, your movie experience. Now, for me, I can see the spoilers and it really doesn't ruin it for me. I usually go to the, the movie still and I completely enjoy it and I'm still excited to watch it uh, in person. So for me, it doesn't really ruin it. But I just wanted to give you guys an announcement about that to be careful on social media. So those are all your movie updates for today. And remember, if you want me to be your favorite movie guy, Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and have that bell on because we try to drop daily movie content about everything. All right? I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.